so the language in the bill actually sets aside $5 million for the move mm -hmm. and the remainder for the building of a facility to display it, although it allows for more of the display money to be used for the move if they run over budget. But as you say, the Smithsonian itself has said that their estimates would be that it would cost 200 to $300 million to move Space Shuttle Discovery to Virginia. And other estimates have put it even higher, upwards to a billion dollars. Oh um, and <laughs> uh, part of the problem is, is that what we just mentioned, the 747 that flew the space shuttles across the country is are retired. The one here in Houston is on display. The other one sitting for the past decade in a, um, in a in an air park out in California. It would have to be totally recertified, given new engines. Even then, it's not clear if it could be made flight worthy. Well, Robert, um, that's and, my that's my question. I read your article in Collect mm -hmm. Space. There's no practical way to do this. So uh, the way that they're proposing is putting it on a barge. Okay. Um, and and during barging hurricane into season. Houston. But there isn't a large enough closed in barge to put the space shuttle into. You don't want to take apart the space shuttle because Discovery was maintained in as close to as flown condition as possible. If you want to remove the wings or the tail in order to fit it into a into a barge, uh, you'd be ripping apart the tiles and blankets that give it part of its historic nature. And you wouldn't be able to replace those with anything but replicas. Um, and there's also the issue that to get from the Advarhazi um, annex of the National Air and Space Museum in Virginia to the closest waterway that could take the barge would be anywhere between 30 and um, and 100 miles of road of a road trip. Um, just to put that into perspective, California received Space Shuttle Endeavor, had to take it from LAX out to the California Science Center. That was a 12 mile move. It was supposed to take two days. It took three full days and it cost $12 million. <laughs>